Okay. Hi everyone. I can see myself now. I wondered where I was. <laughs> yeah. Um, my name's Anne, and I'd like to introduce Jeff Wil Jeff Wilbur, my guest today, who's joining us from Peru. Um, many of us know Jeff as just this happy, cheerful master of ceremonies, and today I'm just going to take a little look behind his journey with Living Miracles and through his many functions. So, yeah, welcome, Jeff. It's great to have you on the show today. It's nice to be here. <laughs> okay. Um, I'd like to ask you a little bit about your background uh, journey into spirituality, um, when it began, and yeah, how you came to Living Miracles. Quite brief, because we've got a lot of other things to talk about, Jeff. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> um, so very briefly, I started, um, everything didn't seem to be right for me. I would, um, you know, I loved, I, I, my background is in sales. I was a great salesman and so on and so forth. But, you know, it was never enough. Um, you know, we'd have uh, monthly sales budgets and we'd be a hero on the 30th of the month. And then we were a zero on the first of the month, you know, and it just kept on going in that, in that way. And I just started looking. Um, I, um, I had some, some real anger issues and um, I ended up taking a, um, an eight day intensive retreat. Um, and it really opened my eyes to, wow, wow, this, this is, there's, there's me and there's not me, you know, there's this, there's this, this thing about this, this God thing, this um, other being. And I remember doing an exercise where we, we were to close our eyes and meditate on a candle flame. And, and then this candle flame was to be the Holy Spirit. And then we were to hurl insults and, and, a, and a sword and, and chop this, this flame and just rage up against this flame. And then at the end, I said, now stop, is that candle still there? And yeah, it was. So I went, oh, okay, so there is something, there is something else there. So that, that led to a number of, of, uh, of things that I looked for self-improvement. I read a lot of shelf improvement books and, and so on. <laughs> Nothing seemed to stick. Um, yeah, I, I didn't coin that phrase, but I love it, shelf improvement, because all the books sit on the shelf. Um, and... In, so one thing led to another, led to another, not by coincidence. Um, I uh, came across this group in, in Langley, British Columbia, which is, I lived on Vancouver Island and they, they were on the mainland. And what caught my attention was um, just, you know, it was a three-year program and the first year you focused on you and, and healed your own mind before you started to heal others because the idea of this program was you became a counselor. And I thought, that's cool. I, 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 can, I could probably do that. Um, so I started this program, and it was based loosely on the teachings of A Course in Miracles. And so I grabbed the book and started reading it, and it really caught my attention, really mm -hmm. caught my attention. And, um, you know, I, so I, I was working through this process. It's, it's a, a, a place called Clear Mind, where you, you know, clear your mind, which was yeah. great. Um, mm -hmm. And loved it, uh, really loved it. There was one problem. Um, they had to convince me. It took them a year and a half to convince me that my job as a counselor wasn't to give advice. And that was huge because, you know, I had this ability to zero in on someone else's problem and say, here's your problem, now go fix it. And that wasn't received very well <laughs> for some reason. I don't know why that is. Maybe because the answer has to come from within. And I guess I learned that finally. Um, it took a, it took a while, um, and then so I, I finished that program. And then during I guess even during that program, um, yeah, I, I, maybe it was just slightly after. It doesn't the timing is a little unclear in my mind. But um, one of the ladies that was ahead of me a year was holding a course in uh, course in miracle group meetings, and I, I I went there quite often. And one day this smiling angel showed up. Um, I think a lot of you know her, uh, Sarah St. Clair, and um, I just was just enthralled with what she was talking about this community. And I said, okay, I have to have that. Like, I want some of that. 
And one thing led to another. There was um, a call for volunteers. Um, there, there was a need for someone who did maintenance, like a jack of all trades. And I, I love that. I mean, that's just, I eat that up. So I went down for a weekend and I met uh, Lisa and uh, the weekend went well, I came back and there was an opportunity to come down for three months and that happened. And that was seven, almost eight years ago. Um, I've never, I've never looked back. It, it's been a, a phenomenal journey of healing and it continues. Like it's, it's, it's daily. It's daily. Mm-hmm. I, I remember a parable that Lisa shared about I, I, a bunch of them went to um, Gethsemane um, to um, um, a monastery there uh, for, for silence. And, you know, they spent some time there and she talked to the abbot and was asking a bunch of questions and he had been there for 50 years. And one question she asked was, don't you ever have any doubt thoughts about this path that you're on? And the, the answer that came back shocked me. He said, every day. And I, and I'd use that. I'd use that because I have doubt thoughts. The doubt thoughts come. And, um, just, just hearing that and going, okay, so it's just a thought, let it go. And it's the ability to let those thoughts go because doubt thoughts have been with me all my life and they take me out. They, they have taken me out for months sometimes, but that doesn't happen anymore. The doubt thought comes and I, and I feel it and I feel it and then I let it go and say, okay, this isn't for me. This isn't for me. Um, you know, I, I know we talked a little bit about that clip, Stop It, um, uh, with Bob. Yeah, Newhart. actually, I'm I'm going to play. Um, Are you? Okay. A, yeah, just a shortened version of that because we spoke a lot about, you know, the obstacles that we've moved through, um, each of us, you know, through our functions. And, um, yeah, and sometimes, you know, like the answer seemed really immediate. You know, it was, you know, like, often through an elder, but it was, you know, like the experience of, oh, stop it. Actually, I can, you know, whether it's victim or, you know, we're just angry at the world, whatever it might be. And, uh, yeah, so I just feel like it's a cue to um, to show that clip now and you can talk a little bit more into, you know, some of those obstacles that you, you move through. Sure. Okay, so Nicholas, if you're there, if you could play the clip for me, that'd be great. A bit about our, our billing. <laughs> I... Um... I charge five dollars for the for the first five minutes, and and then absolutely nothing after that. How, how, how does that sound? That sounds great. <laughs> Too good to be true, as a matter of fact. <laughs> well, I can I can almost guarantee you that that our session won't last the full uh, the full five minutes. Now, um, <laughs> we don't do any insurance billing, so you would either have to pay in in cash or by check. <clears throat> wow. Okay. And I, and I I don't make change. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and go. I have this fear of being buried alive in a box. <laughs> I just I start thinking about being buried alive and I begin to panic. All right. Well, uh, let's go, Catherine. I'm. Uh, I'm going to uh, say two words to you right now. I, I want you to listen to them very, very carefully. Then I want you to take them out of the office with you and incorporate them in, into your life. Well, shall I uh, write them down? Well, it, if it makes you comfortable, it's just two words. Most, we find most people can, uh, can remember them. <laughs> okay. You ready? Yes. Okay, here, here they are. Stop it! <laughs> Stop it? Yes, S-T-O-P, new word, I-T. So, what are you saying? <laughs> you, you know, it's funny. I, I, I say two simple words, and I cannot tell you the amount of people who say exactly the same thing you're saying. I mean, this, you know, this is not Yiddish, Catherine. This is English. <laughs> stop it. So, I should just stop it. There you go. All right. Well, what other uh, problems would you would you like to address? <clears throat> Whew, uh, I'm bulimic. I stick my fingers down my throat. Stop it! <laughs> what 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 else? <clears throat> well, I have self-destructive relationships with men. Stop it! <laughs> I don't like this. 
I don't like this therapy at all. You're just telling me to stop it. And and you and you don't you don't like that. No, I don't. All right, then let me uh, let me uh, give you ten words that I I think will uh, clear everything up for you. Uh, you want you want to get a pad and a pencil for this one? All right. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Here are the ten words. Stop it, or I'll bury you alive in a box. Hey, thank you, Nicholas. <laughs> Okay, Jeff, uh, you were telling me about um, your experience in the Halo Room. Well, you were building the Halo Room. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and it was an experience of undoing the doer and um, yeah, also hiding behind that particular function. So yeah, yeah. do you want to tell us a little bit about that? <laughs> yeah, we, um, we built the Halo Room. Uh, Michael and I started, I mean, it was just a piece of grass and we marked it out and we poured concrete and did all this wonderful stuff. And um, it was the day before um, David was actually coming back. And so it was the day that it had to be ready. And um, things just weren't going well. And uh, we were running out of tiles and one thing led to another. And I was walking through the courtyard, a lot like Eeyore, you know, head down. And, and I walked past a room um, that um, Kirsten was sitting in and she waved me into the room. And she said, you know, what's happening? And I, I explained that things weren't going quite as Jeff had it planned. And she goes, oh, okay. Well, I think what we're going to do is take you off the project. Off the project? The day before it's finished, you're taking me off? Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, I think it's, you know, it, it's, it's, what she said to me was, it's actually the prayer of your heart. And I thought, how in the heck is that possible? And as we're talking, um, a, a, ch a chap walked by the window who, at the time, uh, he and I didn't get all that, did, we didn't get along that well. And uh, she said, as a matter of fact, and he is going to take the project over. Well, <laughs> you could have blown me over with, a, with your breath. I was thought, you've got to be kidding. My jaw's on the ground. Um, and, you know, so there was a whole bunch of stuff that came up. And in retrospect, it was one of the best things that ever happened to me because it, it undid Jeff. You know, Jeff needed to get the heck out of the way. It doesn't matter if it was six weeks before the project ended or an hour before the project ended. It was incredibly healing. In the moment, no. <laughs> Jeff, was, Jeff was not a happy camper. But in the healing process, it was a, just a huge step. Just mm. a huge step. Yeah, you mentioned something about Lisa coming in yeah and there's been a, a a couple of interventions where jeff needed to be um, <coughs> reminded that he needed to step step back um we had a group that that met pretty much every morning and this one morning um i came in and i wasn't i wasn't really present and through lisa the spirit came at me just direct um with all kinds of words of which i actually don't remember and um but it felt like an exorcism i was literally shaking like physically i, I could feel myself you know mm. something was happening inside and um and, and i talked to lisa about it afterwards and she doesn't remember exactly what she said here um but i do know it was it was an undoing a, a very deep undoing and i've talked about that before I, you know to others where you know you get tapped on the shoulder by the spirit and then for, sort of tapped on the head, maybe given a little push. And then sometimes a two by four comes out. And I'm just so grateful that I'm surrounded by people like Lisa who has the strength to not take it personally and just, you know, here it is, you know, that's, mm -hmm. this is what's necessary. Um, and that happened once at the, um, at the monastery too. We were in the middle of a, a huge um, project putting in um, um, lighting the, um, um, what's it called? <laughs> um, solar, solar. We put a, a bunch of solar panels in, and it just wasn't working. And again, Eeyore showed up, and um, <laughs> and um, I sat down with Suzanne, who was was uh, was stewarding at the time. And again, spirit came at me and hit me straight between the <laughs> eyes. And in the moment, I'm thinking, Are you kidding me? I'm trying to make, and that was the problem. 
Jeff was trying to make this work. Mm -hmm. And um, I had to be reminded of that, you know, quite, uh, quite strongly. But it's, it, it was so healing, you know, in the moment, absolutely not. I, it was like, you know, my world's coming to an end. Uh, but in retrospect, again, it was it was just necessary healing, and yeah, and I, you know, I, I'm just so grateful to be surrounded by people like those guys and and others um, who will hold hold the space, whether it needs to be a direct um, you know confrontation, if you will, or just allowing me to express what's going on and hold that uh, hold that space. That's what this community is all about. It really is yeah. about holding that space. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful, Jeff. Thank you so much. And yeah, I can really relate to that experience of, yeah, being hit between the eyes basically by, and it was Kirsten with me. Uh, I was just so in this victim place and I kept going there and going there and going there. And um, yeah, it was just that stop it moment. Um, and I, I don't know what she said. I don't know if she knows what she said, but it was just perfect. It was like, oh, I don't actually have to do that. Um, I don't have to keep giving myself that pain. It's like, okay. And it's, yeah, it's helped me to start questioning all the areas where I go there, you know. Um, is it actually necessary? And this show is a great, <laughs> great teacher of that, you know. Every week I have a meltdown and I was just saying, I'll just share the miracle that this week I didn't melt down. <laughs> it was like, okay, you know, just keep watching those thoughts and keep, keep letting them go. And, you know, if I need to join with anybody, I know that there's somebody available, you know, to hold my hand. And, yeah, just perfect, you know, that um, I've managed to come here without all that, all that drama, you know, that I'm so used to. It's so, it seems to be so embedded. And yet, you know, it's, yeah, as I called it this morning, it's just a big fat lie. It's not true. It's not real. And, uh, you know, we've got the opportunity to gain that experience here because of the elders in the community and those that have walked before us. So, yeah, so I'm grateful for you as well, Jeff, for that. And, uh, yeah. You know, just just seeing you light up the shows, you know, when you come on the um, online retreats and everything that you do, really. So I just wondered if you'd like to talk a little bit about why you're in Peru and, you know, what you actually do, you know, to keep your spirit up because you're not here in, in community. You're kind of outreach now and, um, you know, I've got the opportunity to express every day and I don't know how it is for you. So, yeah. Yeah, well... It's no different. Um, <clears throat> there's been so many teachings over the years, but David said something a number of years ago when I was at the monastery. Um, uh, I had this thing about religions and churches. And in that particular moment, um, it was decided the community needed to become a church for a number of reasons. And there was this email that came out saying that, well, you, I went, you have got to be kidding me. I am not being part of something that's called a church. That's just not going to happen. Okay. And, um, and David did a, a Sunday service, um, and he talked, you know, he was talking about different things, and he said something, and it was for me. It was so perfect. He said, church is a state of mind. And I went, oh, Okay. That's interesting. And it changed my whole perspective um, about that. So being in Peru, why am I here? I mean, it, it was a miracle. It was absolutely, um, I, I mean, I knew, I knew nothing about Peru. Um, part of what I'm, what I'm doing right now is, is, is looking over, overlooking, um, uh, transforming or translating MMT, this wonderful program that I absolutely adore, into mm -hmm. Spanish. And there's a couple of folks here that said, yeah, they put their hands up and said, we'd love to help you. And um, so I called them uh, to find out about the internet because it's kind of important to have internet. I'm thinking, come on, they're up 8,000 feet in the Andes. How good can the internet be? Well, it's really good. <laughs> so we had, this, we had this 35 minute call and by the end of the call, it was, they said, we think you should come. And I said, I think I should. For, for no earthly reason. I mean, I could have done this from Mexico. So I, you know, I sort of said, well, let me talk to, to the others and see what happens. Fully anticipating, Jeff was, you know, in the way going, oh, they're, they're just gonna laugh at me. You know, this is not gonna happen. Well, I talked to them and they said, go, 
please, this is, this is guidance. This is a, a prompt. And so within two weeks of the phone call, I'm landing in Peru and now sitting here in this uh, a place called the Sacred Valley, um, working on, on MMT. So I know, how do I stay connected? Well, the, the teaching of David, you know, that everything is a state of mind. Well, community, connection is a state of mind. And so what do I do? I love emceeing those shows. I mean, it's just a joy to watch everyone join and how intimate those things are. And I've always loved this idea of, of this virtual communication. Uh, and we, we were doing a lot of it before it really became, you know, um, easy to do. Some of the technology was ridiculous <laughs> in the early days trying to set up these virtual shows. Now with Zoom, I mean, it's, it's a piece of cake. So, you know, I extend, I extend on Saturdays through, through um, uh, the Miracle Movies, which everybody's welcome to join. Um, you can look at events, Living Miracles Teachers, and, and you'll see the, 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 the movie session there every Saturday at 12 uh, Central Daylight Time. But it's the extension through that that keeps me connected. Uh, for example, yesterday we watched a movie called A Monster Calls. If you haven't seen A Monster Calls, please, please go and watch that movie. It's a phenomenal movie about a little boy who, who creates a monster in his mind to help him deal with his mother's dying. And, um, and Liam Neeson is the voice of the monster. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, we had a, a 45 minute joining after the movie with everyone bringing up what, what was coming up for them and, and how, you know, how, how perfect timing it was for different people, which always happens with the movies. What was the well, name of the movie, Jeff? It's called, it called, it's called A Monster Calls. A Monster Calls. A monster calls, yeah, and it needs Thank to be you. renamed. It, it actually needs to be renamed because what it was is a spirit, is that spirit calls, and and I'll leave that with you. I won't tell you any more because I don't want to yeah. spoil the, the effect. But you know, and, and that that there's the joining. I mean, I, I I'm I'm one with everyone virtually on the screen. It was that's that's kind of what happens, um, and it and it is in the extension. It is in the extension. Um, and I was, just, I was actually thinking about that this morning, thinking about, you know, what am I going to say on the show? And, and all I heard was, you know, it does, you don't have to think about anything. It, it's going to happen spontaneously in the moment. Um, and, and that really is, is what happens. It is, it all, it is all spontaneous. And, and this morning I was thinking, you know, about more, do I have to say more and more and more? And as soon as I, I hear that now, you know, this idea, there must be some more, um, I'm in the ego mind and I just let it go. I just, I stop it. <laughs> Literally, just stop that thought and, and just let it go. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And I know you've got Jenny and Greg um, coming. Yeah. So yeah. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that as well? Yeah, it's exciting. Um, they're coming. Um, they'll be here. <clears throat> the 24th of, of May, we're having a, um, a, a retreat in Lima, um, uh, basically on relationships, which is beautiful. I mean, they're, they're a, a beautiful demonstration of, um, of, you know, moving from that idea of special relationship to a holy relationship. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to come up to the, um, the Sacred Valley where I am. <clears throat> and um, tentatively, we've got three gatherings that are going to happen. And, and there may be more. I don't know. Um, you know. It's beautiful. I don't know. And the, the Jeff is going, if I listen to the Jeff, he's going, oh, you got to be kidding. What do you mean you don't know? And um, yeah, and, and that was what's, what's coming on my mind. I just have to, I can't remember the word that I want to use. Um, let me, oh, yeah. So, <clears throat> you know, we just, we just heard about uh, Lila and Lila and I had a, an amazing relationship. There was a huge amount of projection of me onto her and, and the healing that took place was magnificent. And so here I am trying to plan something and it, 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 it's, it, you know, I don't know exactly what's going to happen. And uh, Lila and I were working uh, together. Uh, I was working uh, you know, with her on Strawberry Festival years ago. And um, if we didn't know something, Lila would say it's, it's, it's in the undefined. And it used to drive me crazy. What do you mean it's undefined? We have to know. We're planning. And she broke me of that habit. And so it's made it so much easier now to help plan these retreats for, um, for Jenny and Craig because it is, a lot of it is undefined. And it's okay. It's okay. 
So thank you, Lila. And, and I know Calico is saying, you know, she's, she's here. You know, she hasn't gone anywhere. I truly feel that because, you know, as I'm doing this planning, that voice keeps coming back. It's <laughs> undefined. It's undefined. I'm like, okay, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, we've just got a few minutes, Jeff. So is there anything else that you'd really, that's on your heart that you'd like to talk about? Because I'm unplanned as well, <laughs> which is very unusual. <laughs> yeah, I, I will say, you know, the, 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 uh, I just, it, it's all in retrospect. Um, the, the healing that's taken place for me, there's no way seven years ago I would have ever imagined uh, being where I am today. And I don't mean physically, I mean in the mind. Um, yeah. It's just been a, a, an incredible roller coaster. There, there's no other way to put it. Uh, you know the highs and 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 the lows, but it, what's happening? What's happening, uh, uh, especially now here that I'm in Peru, is there's this this leveling out. Um, you know there there aren't these super high moments and super low moments anymore, but it's all it's all enjoyable, and I bring it back into the joy. Mm -hmm. I, and it's not to say that there aren't times when it's like Ooh. you know the Eeyore uh, character you know gets in, but it it doesn't last long anymore. It really doesn't. Um, it's it, it it's so ingrained in my mind now that it's just a thought. Mm -hmm. Let it go. You know. Yeah. In fact, there's almost a mantra now when uh, when a thought comes in like that is uh, what comes to me. What's come to me is it just doesn't matter, which mm -hmm. makes it much easier to let it go. And um, so the yeah it's it's definitely this this leveling out of of those emotions not the highs and the lows and just this beautiful um peaceful path you know i mean i'm sitting here right now talking to you looking out into the andes mountains going wow you know do i do i need more and 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 if i start to think i need more that's when things start to you know come off track so and i love what um uh, what Dan was saying with Michael, you know, Michael's a beautiful teacher. And I love that idea of, you know, bring it back, bring it back to the center and, mm -hmm. you know, get out of the future, get out of the past and, and be here in the present moment. It's, um, it's a beautiful mantra. It really is. And it works. It truly does. And when it doesn't, then I get in to stop it. And I laugh, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it becomes rather than judging myself and getting, you know, down on myself about, you know, going one side or the other of the vertical, it just comes back in laughter. And it, you know, it's, it's a beautiful remembrance of, you know, where the son of God remembered not to laugh. That was the tiny, you know, tiny mad idea. So it's just nice to bring everything back to laughter. It's, it's wonderful. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Jeff. That's been absolutely amazing. And uh, yeah, that's really just a reflection of my journey as well, you know, that I'm learning, you know, like how to bring everything back and stop it. And, um, and it has been quite a journey. And yeah, I'm just grateful for everybody that's that's showing me the way and um, yeah grateful for you Jeff you know I've been part of the MMT and that's where I came in and um, you actually phoned me one time early on when I was totally spinning out of control and it was just so beautiful that that you knew somehow and uh, yeah just so helpful thank you so much and thank you everybody that's watching the show and uh, yeah incredible thank you okay <laughs> Bye. Bye.